All right, Greg Berhalter, very quick to point out in his press conference there that this is not the final World Cup roster. It's that not. said, it's not. It's not. All right. That said, Herc, there's still snubs. Who's the biggest snub? Who's the biggest name for you left off this list? Jordan Pifak. Mm -hmm. And it seems unfair. Very unfair. Why do you say unfair? Because if we look at the pool of nines, mm -hmm. look at the pool of nines. The guys, Josh Sargent, Ricardo Pepe, Sus Ferreira, uh, whoever else you may want to throw in there, Haji Rai, Daryl DK, Brandon Vasquez. At one point, all went cold. Mm -hmm. All had a struggle. Brandon Vasquez isn't even part of the pool, by the way, right now, mm -hmm. until you get there, right? Jordan Pifak's the only guy who's never gone cold. He stayed hot the whole time, so hot, he became the first player, the first U.S. men's national team eligible player to win a goal scoring title in Europe. Mm -hmm. Big money move to the Bundesliga. And what does he do when he gets there? He's doing much of the same, except he's added assists to his game. He's much more of a facilitator. A player that based on merit should have never left any national team call up. Mm. I'm looking at this list and I'm thinking, all right, yes, of course, Jordan Peefock has a shout, but so do guys like Haji Wright and Brandon Vasquez, right? They've been scoring a lot, and a lot of this is in the context of Ricardo Pepe getting called up. All three of those guys are scoring. Ricardo Pepe hasn't scored in 11 months. Was that your, 11 was months. That your doing, putting Jassy Sardes on the list? No, uh, it was not my doing, <laughs> though. You know I like to uh, get people fired up. I, I just think that's the point here, right? It's not so much that Peefock gets snubbed. It's that he and Wright and Vasquez all get snubbed for a guy who's not scoring right yeah. now. So it's really, it's, it's actually, if you want to say it's unfair on those guys, uh, Greg Berhalter is being incredibly fair, almost too fair, you might suggest, with Pepe. Did you hear this from me last week? Would you like me to repeat it again? Uh, no. Because I will. Mm -hmm. I like hearing that I'm right. He feels indebted to Ricardo Pepe. Mm -hmm. Why? Because Ricardo Pepe came in in the first window of World Cup qualifying and saved his job. Okay, in 45 minutes, Ricardo Pepe changed the Honduras game in Honduras. Mm -hmm. A hand, a foot, if you will, in all four goals. And after that, what he did for the U.S. Men's National Team, he scored three goals and also assisted. He was facilitating. He was there for Greg Berhalter in one of the worst times. And also, Greg Berhalter in some way must feel responsible mm -hmm. for the influence he had on Ricardo Pepe going to FC Osberg, which was a mistake. And since then, it could be a mistake that may cost him a World Cup. So he will afford Ricardo Pepe mm -hmm. every single option, exhaust every option to not make the team. As he said, and there, they believe right. in Ricardo Pepe, he will give him that chance. Whether we think it's fair or not, that's the reality of what Greg Berhalter is going to do. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.